I never speed run uh, a speed did a speed. I never did a speed run of this game before. Oh, Rito took a bit of a hit there. Uh, here's you have him use heal, patch him right up. All I know is that the speed run for this game is pretty long, and there's not really a whole lot you can do to speed it up because a lot of it's like text and cutscenes. And the battles aren't exactly short either. As for Grandia 1, I never made it too far, to be honest. Because my disc froze on me one too many times, and I was like, screw that. For the most part, this game isn't too bad with uh, lengthy speedruns right before a difficult boss. That said, that said, they're still there. They are, there are still cutscenes. It's just not as bad as it could be. Like, I'm trying to think of an example. Now nah, I can't think of anything on the top of my head that wouldn't be an outright spoiler to say. Or at least, where's the entrance to this tree? This very, very sick tree. Oh yeah, another major issue with the, or well, it's more of a minor issue with the Steam version of Grandia 2, is that there are some ambient sound effects that are stronger than they should be. Like, you hear things that in other versions of the game, you don't. At least in my recollection. I have not touched the PS2 version in years. Which I consider to be the second best version, after the Dreamcast, of course. Ooh, is that what I think it is? No, that is not. I thought it was something actually pretty good for this point in the game. Uh-oh, good caterpillar. Aha. Anyway, with uh, Grandia 1 and 2 coming to Switch, and I think Grandia 1 is also being ported to Steam. Well, that, that pretty much seals the deal on picking between a PS3, a PS4, or a Switch. Like, what am I going to stream with the PS3? Like, the only thing I can think of is Parasite Eve. Because you can actually get it on the PS3. I could also repurchase The Legend of Dragoon, because I don't remember if I even got it new or used. Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. Okay, there's a few more things I can think of on the PS3, I'll admit. I was making sure I got everything here. Wait, what's over on the other side? Or did I already... No, there's nothing there. I wish I had a map or a checklist that I should really print out one of these days. Let's see. Whoop. Uh-oh. Now here's the sad part. We'll have to fight them again on our way back out. Or just run away really quickly. Oh, what a troll! There's nothing. There's not even anything here. We're gonna be doing a bigger promo later, but thought you'd let me know that Riku and you are doing a race at the end of September to celebrate his birthday. Ooh. Was it that we guy? shall resume this match later. I forgot how loud Merrick's voice is. Yeah, I thought VQ said something about that earlier. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. So what happens when someone loses? What happens if you both lose? Alright. Oracle Staff. Good thing I didn't buy that, because I'm pretty sure I could buy that Lily Goo. Last one standing wins. All right. But what if, say, Riku just stands on the platform at the very beginning of Final Fantasy VII, like, the whole time? Does that count? 
I'm sorry for asking stupid questions, but these are the things I really like to know. So as long as someone makes reasonable progress, uh, it doesn't really matter. Whoever, okay. All right, it's a race. I gotcha. The only thing stopping me from uh, playing Final Fantasy VII mods on my stream is the fact I haven't played Final Fantasy VII yet. I like to play vanilla on stream before I get fancy with the mods. Blueberry. Ah, there it is. Ice Fangstone, Arctic Cape, and Ice Pick. It's gonna, uh, it'll make Rowan do less damage against these uh, big foot, as these big feet. Is that the plural of big foot, big feet? Oh, curse this fog. Garden of dreams, huh? Well, it can't be any worse. You'll be doing an initial equip challenge at some point as well. That sounds interesting. Looks like we got ourselves pretty lost. The fog is so thick. Is this really the right road? Does it really matter? Wait a second. Odd. There is no smell of life in this place. Why do flowers bloom in such a cold and barren place? Who are you? This is my garden. I am sorry. We are travelers lost on the road. This is the garden of happiness. My precious secret place. Everyone who comes here forgets their bad memories and gets happy. If you come here, it means that your heart wants to be saved. Look, aren't all the flowers so pretty? Um, um, but your eyes, are they perhaps? Yes, my eyes were bad ever since I was born, but I'm fine now. Thanks to Grannis, I can see everything now, so I'm not lonely any longer. These flowers are nice enough, I guess. If you're into that stuff. Not my style. That's because you're not trying to see. You're trying to be someone you're not. Warm your heart, like these ones. Miss, I thought you would understand how good this place is. What do you mean? Don't you understand? Then you should ask the girl with the black wings. Black wings. Anyway, keep this place a secret. Promise? Miss, don't eat me. What's with that girl? Oh well, let's go on. This is reminding me of Katamari Damacy. Think of that what you will. Huh? Now where are we? Hey, that little girl in her garden. Where did they go? Could it have all been a dream? Now they just did a clever trick and put a fence here, and they just had a few trees blocking this road. Alright, so I'm going to do a quick BRB. I'm going to use the restroom, refill my drink, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't you guys go anywhere. And we're back. All right, let me get Twitch back up real quick, and we will resume our journey. As soon as it gets back into full screen, of course. Yeah, I took that break because there's going to be a lot of voice acting. 
that we'll be doing this episode. We'll see some action, yes, but there's going to be a lot of voice acting before we get there. Not all of it will be mine. It's going to be... I think it's one more scene that's going to be voiced before we get there. 